What's up guys, Sagi here, and welcome to another Tech Gear Talk. The Canon M50 was one of the most popular cameras of 2018 for beginner photographers, videographers, and content creators. And while it has a long list of strengths, which I covered in a few other videos, one of its few weaknesses is battery life. So today I'm gonna to show you three ways to solve the Canon M50 weak battery life problem. If you've watched my detailed review or my Canon M50 10 frequently asked questions video, you probably heard me recommend that you buy at least one additional battery if you plan on using the M50 all day for both photography and video. And while I initially did this, I found some options that I like even better. The first solution to the Canon M50 weak battery life is to use eco mode. The M50 uses an LPE12 rechargeable lithium ion battery, and it's rated for 235 shots per charge, and that's when using the electronic viewfinder or the LCD. So the M50 does offer an eco mode, which darkens the LCD almost immediately after taking a picture or even after getting focus. And this helps preserve the battery and can boost the battery life up to about 370 shots, so that's a big difference. To turn eco mode on, click on the menu button and then go to function settings, page two, eco mode, click on it and then set it to on. This is a great feature if you're taking the M50 out for the day and if you're primarily using it for shooting pictures. But it doesn't solve the battery life problem if you're shooting video. That's where the next two solutions come into play. The next solution is one that I use whenever I'm in the studio or when I'm streaming with the M50. I did some research and I found an AC adapter that works for the M50 and gives me unlimited continuous power. This means that I can stream or shoot for hours and I never have to worry about the battery running out. To use it, remove the original battery and replace it with a DC coupler that's shaped like the battery. And the next part was a little tricky because I didn't read the instructions, but rather than plugging it in now, you have to close the battery door then flip this little rubber flap and then plug the cable into the DC coupler. If you plug it in directly and don't close the battery compartment, the camera won't turn on. Make sure that it's pressed all the way in and then plug the other end into the outlet. If you wanna be extra safe, you can use a piece of gaffer's tape to secure the connection. All right, you're now good to go and you can use the M50 for as long as you want. And literally, I've used it for hours with no problems. And the solution also happens to work for the EOS M, the M2, the M10, and the M100. And this great adapter only costs 15 bucks on Amazon and I'll put links in the description to where you can buy this and the other accessories that I talk about in this video. And if you end up buying anything after clicking those links, you help support my channel for free and I thank you in advance. All right, so the first solution worked great for photos. The second solution worked great for photos and video as long as you have access to an outlet. But what if you wanted to be on the go and still have virtually unlimited power? That's where the third solution comes into play. It's similar to the second solution and uses a DC coupler again, but instead of plugging it into an outlet, this accessory plugs into a USB power source. This adapter costs $22 on Amazon, and like I said, I'll have links in the description to help you easily find everything. So I can actually use this adapter with an outlet as long as I use the USB charger that came with it. But more important, I can take a portable charger and use it on the go. I've used this for an entire day and had plenty of power left over. So instead of the 875 milliamps per hour that the LPE 12 battery has, I'm using a portable charger with over 20,000 milliamps per hour. I usually put a piece of gaffer's tape again just to secure the connection, and then I put the portable charger in my pocket and I'm good to go all day. Another thing that I love about this solution is that if I'm driving from place to place, I can charge the portable charger while in my car. And I was always bringing one of those with me anyways because I don't ever wanna worry about my phone running out of battery, and now I'm just using the same charger both for my phone and for the M50. So these are three ways that I got around the battery life limitation of the Canon M50. Of course, you can buy additional batteries if you don't wanna rely on another accessory and don't like the idea of a wire. An official LPE12 battery from Canon costs $51 at B&H, and there are some third-party options that are much more affordable, and I'll include some links to some of my favorites. I'm interested in knowing which of these solutions works best for you and whether you have any other ideas that might work. If this video was helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up, tweet it, share it, and if you haven't yet, join the community by hitting the subscribe and notification buttons. You can always find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk, and you know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.